What up everybody out there in YouTube world it is October 7th, 2012. Just want to make a video. I haven't made one in a while um, these last eight days. And I know what the Bible says on this issue. You're just not really supposed to brag or tell people about this, but just want to talk about some issues and some things I've been going through these last eight days until today. Um, I had been on a juice fast where I was just drinking nothing but juice. Just to what the Bible uh, labels new wine. So basically you can call that a new wine fast. Where I just drink freshly squeezed juice. No pulp in it, just juice. And uh, it was amazing actually. Which uh, I've been preparing my body with eating lots of raw fruits and vegetables for quite some time uh, just because I know that's what we're supposed to be eating instead of all this other stuff that I've ate my whole life and uh, I ended that today the fast today just did basically a whole week a little bit over and since then I've been going wild with it I guess on eating some things that I don't really normally eat but Due to some events that was happening today with my family, I decided to, instead of just break the fast like some people do, and, you know, I ate some things that I don't normally eat. Nothing unclean biblically, but just some breads and some different things like that. that I know that in order to hit the high levels of health, you just, you, you don't mess with them much. You know, I guess you mess with them sometimes to fit in, but we should never eat to fit in. Just like sometimes me too, on the same note, I'll, I'll drink a beer with somebody to fit in. I don't drink it to get drunk, but I have been drunk plenty of times, but that's really in my past. I try to, I'm really on a thinking much differently now. But the juice fast was amazing. Uh, it really, really gives me a lot of uh, confidence in doing more fasting or juice fasting or, you know, that type of, uh, it, it gives me more confidence in doing it later on in my future if, if that's part of my calling, which it wasn't bad. And then on the seventh day, I mean, yesterday, I had, I had so much energy. I had a lot of energy. And then the whole day I was... I was sitting there thinking, well, tomorrow I'm going to quit my fast because I was only setting out to do seven days on it. And I kept saying, well, tomorrow I'm going to quit. And, but then I had so much energy. So I had like this war going on in my head saying, you know, don't end, your, don't end that juice fast tomorrow. Keep going. See how this is. Keep going with it. You know, you're only starting to break the ice, which I know I probably am. And with people who did water fasting, you'd probably say, well, if you did seven days on juice, you didn't even begin to melt the ice at all. But anyways, for me, and the, the journey that, I've, that I'm on and the road that I've come from, to me, it's been a great an accomplishment. It's been a confidence builder. And, you know, I really wasn't that hungry. The first couple of days, I think it's the fear of and the habit breaking the habit of just eating and doing this and filling your stomach full but after about three days I mean I just really wasn't hungry like most people said I, you're really not hungry you just sort of feel weird probably because you're you're like I'm saying you're sort of breaking a, a lifetime long habit of eating and that's weird you know that's probably the part that ain't sane but last night I was I went to Walmart, it was my last, you know, I guess 12 hours on the juice fast, and I was picking up my, some more fruits and vegetables, and as I was walking through there, I just started thinking how insane I was, how, you know, not eating and doing all this, I was like, this is just, this is not sane, this is, like, what's wrong with you, man, you, you've lost your mind. But at least you're admitting it to yourself. Well, not about as soon as I was thinking that, you know, I look around, I see 10 obese people, overweight people, I mean, just immediately. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm not saying. So I'm, I feel, me personally, I'm making this video, I feel the power, 
the pull of good and evil. I feel it through food. I feel it through the temptations. Uh, that's one thing I do feel possibly a little bit stronger from from this week. But then again, I've ended this fast today, you know, eating, eating a lot. I mean, I've filled my belly up from not really filling it up in a long time, really, even before the fast. But just filling my belly up and... I now do really, really, really believe, which I believed beforehand, but it just the deeper you dig and the more layers you peel off, the more you believe, I guess. But I really believe that, you know, food addictions here in this country, in this world, I guess, but I know here in the country and Tennessee for sure is a big problem of our health issues and diseases and various illnesses. Um... Uh, all them people that Jesus healed, you know, they had to they had to obey him to be healed and some people try to say there's no food laws or anything left in the Bible, but I just you know, from how we read, we're supposed to be clean. It says to be clean and if you can explain to me how somebody can be clean eating unclean foods that God said never to even touch, then I guess you'll be doing a good job, but I'm just, I'm making this video because I, I, I won't want to encourage people, and at least let them know, I mean, you can, if, if you plan it out, and you got a juicer, and you got access to fresh fruits and vegetables, and you got the time and energy to put into it, and to actually doing a, a juice fast or a juice feast, however you look at it, I would encourage it. I don't have all the answers. I can help people with tips and ideas of what I've did throughout them the eight days that I was on it other than that I know there's a lot of experts in this field and that was my first time so I'm no longer a virgin at doing at least a week on juice I look forward to going further in the future and getting more work done but I'm basically doing this um for spiritual reasons would be the number one reason, which is amazing, really, uh, of the peace and something that's missing when you're not when you're not eating, I guess. But that what's missing is like a lot of it's like that's calm, and maybe that's the grinding in your stomach, and maybe all that, maybe that's that process ain't going on and then you just got this calm sense of peace about you that will make you feel more spiritual when you're not actually eating now with juicing you're getting i mean loads of nutrients and minerals and vitamins so, i mean it ain't like water fasting which is controversial but juicing's controversial too but as for me for my first time i i think it's i think it's awesome and I wouldn't have been trying it if I didn't think it was going to be awesome. It was a challenge, but it's it was fun. It was fun challenging myself. No, nope, if you ain't eating, you just you know you know just drinking. But every time I started to feel hungry, I drank juice. I mean, I didn't limit myself. I know some people say drink 64 ounces a day. I think some days I might have drank 128 ounces of juice. I might have drank more than that. Uh, some a couple of them days I, I might have just drank 64 it, it was however I felt felt at the time and that's sort of how you got to base it if you're losing weight and doing it there's different reasons to do a juice fast I didn't do it for weight loss I've already lost all my weight in the last three years by converting over from the American diet to tons of fruits and vegetables I do sometimes still cheat I'm not a part perfect raw vegan or labeled vegetarian or anything like that i will eat foods on occasion but i have according to the bible cut out all the unclean foods that were labeled and i'm working on eating cleaner and cleaner every day because i know cooked foods and i know when i eat them i know how they make me feel i know how they automatically bring the energy level down you just feel the volume knob just swivel from 11 to 2 I mean, quickly, but I think it's important to have a social life in order to be able to mingle with others and to 
plant them seeds for the kingdom because, you know, Jesus is coming back soon. And I expect us to be obeying what he did to the best of our ability. And eating is one example he did leave. Some of the foods people eat, he didn't eat. And some of them, you know, we need to we need to ask yourself why our Lord did not eat them foods. But right now I'm done with this video. I just wanted to check in. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. I hope everybody's wonderful. I, I'm just trying to encourage people to love themselves. It's, it's a very important thing, and a lot of people don't actually love themselves. And we're never going to be able to love others and treat others kindly if we don't take care of our own temple first, or the temple of God. It's not our own temple. It's our own choice to whether we're going to take care of it. But have a wonderful and lovely day. Peace, love, always. Thank you.